The use of analogies in the teaching of orthodontic concepts is an excellent method for the retention and application of the acquired knowledge. By comparing new information with a family situation, the transmission of scientific concepts becomes more effective and strengthens the learning process. In this way, the goal of this whiteboard animation is to present the five main analogies in orthodontics. The first analogy is the drawbridge effect. When comparing the incisors with two movable bridges, the descent of the bridges would be comparable to the retraction of the crowns, which causes their uprighting and relative extrusion. This occurs by rotating the tooth around its center of resistance. This effect can be beneficial when we want to close an open bite, for example. But it can also be an unwanted effect, when the uncontrolled proclination of the teeth causes the opening of the bite. The second analogy is that of the roller coaster effect. This effect results from a very basic error in orthodontics, when in treatments with extractions, the professional applies elastic forces in the canines with installed lighting arch wires. A number of side effects can occur, such as deepening the anterior bite, opening the lateral bite and unwanted tippings and rotations into the extraction sites. The set of iatrogenic movements can be called the roller coaster effect. Some people may even enjoy this fun in real life, but in orthodontics, this effect is not fun at all. Let's go to analogy number three, the so-called rowboat effect. It can be tempting, and in fact quite frequent, to install a continuous leveling arch wire to correct canines with excessive root mesial inclination. In this case, a couple applied at the canine bracket will cause the crown to move to the mesial, which may pull the entire dentition forward. Yes, imagine that the apex of the canine root is the tip of the oar. When the oar is pushed back, the boat and all its crew, be the canine and the other teeth, are shooted forward. This unwanted effect is quite common, and is sometimes referred to as an unexpected loss of anchorage. That is why sometimes a patient starts treatment in a class I molar relationship, and soon it turns into a class 2. That is, you rode in the wrong direction bro. Analogy number 4 is the trampoline effect. There is a hypothesis, with no scientific evidence, that states that the intermittent forces of mastication are capable of reactivating elastic modules used in the closing of spaces. According to the theory, even when the patient misses appointments for normal adjustments, the closure of spaces continues to be stimulated by chewing forces that would be able to reactivate an apparently inactive elastic. Although this is an attractive theory, I suggest changing the elastics be changed at least monthly, as we know from scientific evidence that forces from elastics rapidly decreases after some time. And the last analogy of this video, is the wagon wheel effect, an important effect for those working with rectangular arch wires, independently of the prescription of the brackets used. The effect, described by Andrews, represents the relationship between the torque applied by the arch wire and the tip or angulation of the teeth. That is, when an orthodontist adds torque to the interior segment of the arch wire, he automatically adds a mesial tip to the root's teeth in a ratio of 4 to 1. For example, the addition of a 20 degrees of labial crown torque on the incisors, will increase the mesial tip of the roots in 5 degrees. Therefore, always be aware of changes in angulations that may be caused by changes in torque. If you like this animation, share it with your friends, students and teachers. These analogies are part of the orthodontist's routine, and the knowledge of these effects can help us to control tooth movements in a more predictable manner. Sign up on our website to receive our news, and follow us on social media to stay updated on our new posts and videos.